The race for House District 19 pits Democrat Jane Weber against Republican Hannah Trebus. Weber is retired. She and her husband have lived in Great Falls for 40 years. Weber went to the University of Montana, then worked for the Forest Service in various capacities for 31 years, including 10 years as manager of the Lewis and Clark Interpretive Center. Her political experience includes 10 years as a Cascade County Commissioner. I took a hiatus and then I saw things happening in the legislature that did not please me and did not make me feel like we were being fair to the people in our community, so I chose to run. Trebus was born on the High Line and raised in Great Falls. She's been married to her husband Jeremy, a state senator, for 19 years. For the past 12 years, she's been busy home educating the family's three children while remaining active in her community in groups including 4-H and church. After prayerful reflection, she decided to run. After a time of prayer and, and going back and forth, um, yeah, I felt like the, this is the right, the right calling, and and all the doors opened up as far as my kids' education and um, some work things, and it just seemed like a very clear path to run, and it has been an incredible experience. Both candidates agree property taxes are a key issue. Weber says counties were unfairly targeted as the cause of property tax increases and labels legislative approved tax rebates as laughable. She adds that corporations, industrial developments and centrally assessed properties need to be taxed correctly. Those are properties that cover more than one county line. So underground pipelines, railroads, dams, those kinds of things. They are not being charged properly. And if we just charge them the right amount of taxes for the values of their properties, we might even be able to lower the property taxes for homeowners. Trebus says voters play a role in property tax rates when levies come up for election. She admits the property tax issue is a complicated one. There are some interesting things coming up like the um, homestead exemption that the next legislature is going to look at. Um, we don't have a sales tax in the state of Montana. People don't want it. They've been very clear about that. So we don't have that three stool, three legged stool to stand on for taxes, which means with two, it's more like riding a bike. Weber says another hot topic among voters is public education. She says Montana's low pay scale for starting teachers is something a woman who aspired to be a teacher brought to her attention on the campaign trail. She actually got a job offer here in the Great Falls Public Schools. She looked into the salary and to the benefits and the cost of the benefits. She could, not, she could not make a go of it. And so she's actually not using the educational degree that she has and loves because she can't afford to teach. Trebus says quality of education is something she hears regularly while knocking on doors. That is something that I am very passionate about, making sure that we're doing right by our students, making sure that we're doing by, right by that next generation, that when they're graduated, they're ready to take on whatever those next steps may be. So whether that's trade school, college, um, going right into the workforce. In Great Falls, Tim McGonigal, MTN News.